this example, a plus 3 over 4 minus a plus 5 over 4 involves subtracting one fraction from another. They both have the same denominator, which makes it pretty easy. If I have this over 4 minus that over 4, then the answer is simply this minus that over 4. So I can write a plus 3 minus a plus 5, all over 4. Now notice that I put in those parentheses. That's to emphasize that I'm taking one thing, the a plus 3, and subtracting another, the a plus 5. And that's what I had. I had this thing minus that thing. And each of them is over 4. So when I do this subtraction, what I'm subtracting is this, the a plus 5. So this minus sign right here has to distribute to that a and to that 5. So I can think of this as a plus 3 minus a minus 5 all over 4. Now the a and the minus a cancel out. And I'm left with 3 minus 5, which is negative 2 over 4. And that simplifies to negative 1 over 2, or negative 1 half. In this example, I have three fractions. I want to add them. So I'm going to try to combine them into one fraction. And I have x over 4 plus y over 8 plus z over 12. Well, to combine those, I need a common denominator. And the common denominator will be 24. So I'll take the first fraction. And to make the denominator a 24, I have to multiply it by 6. So I'm going to multiply it by 6 over 6. And then, then when I multiply there, I'll get a 24. Now, that's not a 64 right there. That's a 6 times 4. This fraction in the middle, y times 8, I need to make that denominator a 24. So I'm going to multiply this by 3 over 3. And again, that's not an 83. That's an 8 times 3 in the denominator and a y times 3 in the numerator. And here, I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. So the entire expression becomes this, 6x over 24 plus 3y over 24 plus 2z over 24. And now they can be combined into a single fraction. This will be 6x plus 3y plus 2z all over 24.